Hello and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd make a coffee and then suddenly I'm like, I need to show you guys my new like maiden voyage into reviewing like Aldi products. And I'm not even 100% sure that this is from Aldi. So my dad gave me a food dehydrator and I procrastinated for long enough now and finally I decided today I'm gonna try it so why not try it and then I can tell you guys if it's awesome or not and then most likely it's not even sold anymore at Aldi and it whatever so here we go let's both meet him together so this is Lumina I'll, I'll just turn you around to be easier I feel like it's a good idea for real life people to like test things so then you can know that I'm just a real person trying out a food dehydrator. So I'm going to try out bananas. I thought I had the manual somewhere and I probably do, but I can't be bothered looking for it. So let's just go for it. I'll make my coffee and we'll work out the dehydrator together. So. It looks like it has one, two, three, four, five trays. I'd love one of those like Excalibur dehydrators. They're like a thousand dollars. Or I think between six hundred. Six hundred's like their base price. Up to like nine hundred. I don't know. I don't have one. I don't really have the space for it, so we'll give this bad boy a go. I just plugged it in and straight away it's, I guess it's base amount of time is 10 hours. And then you have a timer, obviously your start or reset button, a temperature, and I press that, 70, that's the only choice. <laughs> so I don't know why, oh no, 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 hang on. All right, so it does go up and down. You can adjust your temperature. Oh, 70 is maximum. So I think 70 is just your standard, or you can go lower, lower for longer. Who knows, who knows, who knows? But yes, let's go, let's chop the bananas and then start our amazing, our amazing whatever. Journey to Aldi land. Population, everyone who shops at Aldi. And there's like an added little bonus thing. My bananas are also from Aldi. So it's the whole thing is Aldi. I am not from Aldi, but let's give it a go. The Lumina, I'm just gonna slice them and chuck them in and let's see what happens. See what happens. My husband wanted to do like lemons and oranges and stuff like that for his water, but he's a brand new person using a dehydrator. What could possibly go wrong? Hold up just a minute Been looking for some help Just to find myself Yeah Been losing my focus like a thousand times before Can't take this anymore Cause I've been looking for something To change thoughts into motion Been waiting way too long Yeah, wait So I've loaded up the food dehydrator And I decided just to press start Just go for broke It's gonna be 10 hours at 70 degrees, which means, oh, that's probably a bad idea because it'll be like the middle of the night if I do that. So, I can change the timer somehow. Can I? You can change the timer as, as it's cooking. How high will it go? The thing is like going forever. Okay, maximum amount of time is 19 and a half hours. So I'm going maximum amount of time, 70 degrees, and layering up all the different things and 
Zutolo. So I'll just keep you posted. We'll just keep checking in until we're happy. And then taste testing. And then onwards and upwards. Just the next dehydrate, the next thing. This possibilities are endless. We could do meat. We could do nuts. We could do nuts. We could do what else could we dehydrate? Any fruit, vegetables. I mean, nobody would want like a dehydrated potato. Onions, I, th I did think of doing onions because you can dehydrate them and then blitz them up and like make your own French onion soup mix. I know, it's just these, my very smart brain thinking of all these ideas. So there we go, that's part one of testing out the Lumina food dehydrator. And based upon this video, you can make firm decisions on what you should purchase. Because I didn't even purchase this. My dad gave it to me. So I'm not really like, I researched for many hours and then I made the purchase. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the bananas don't need heaps of time. Because they're already looking shriveledish. It might be crazy bad by tomorrow. Well, we'll find out. That's the only way we find out, guys. You either ask questions or just go for it. I wanted to pack away my dehydrator, so I will show you that everything in here dried. Now these are lemons. I've never dried lemons before. And my husband wanted to use them in his water. And like I said, I didn't even read the instructions or anything. So oranges, the banana chips, I think it's one of those things where some people like them and some people don't, but this was my first experiment. So yeah. I would say overall the dehydrator was a success. It's definitely a good place to start. If you just get an inexpensive dehydrator and give it a go, then you can work out whether or not you want a budget to save for something more substantial. My greatest issue is actually storage. So at the moment I will continue enjoying using this dehydrator. It does mean that I have to get some glass storage containers and then finding a place to keep those things. So it's just the juggle. If you bring something into your home and your home isn't big, sometimes you have to make a home for the new thing. I think houses are like this never ending storage container. You do run out of space and a lot of the time people's houses are like sponges. They've already soaked up all the water they can soak up and they actually have to release things in order to get new things in. Yeah, so I have a home for storing the dehydrator. I have to do a little bit of shuffling to find a home for the things that we will dehydrate. I am planning on doing things like apricots and all sorts of things, mangoes, whatever. I might buy at the shop, so dried apples, you you name it, I'm gonna give it a go. I'll read the manual, I'll find out how to use it properly, and I'll keep you posted if anything exciting happens, but there you go. So an Aldi dehydrator is potentially a really good place to start, especially if you're not gonna do like crazy professional dehydrating. If you just wanna do it for your friends, family, or yourself. Hello, Beth then it's a good place to start. I found some containers in my laundry. So I have put the things we dehydrated in there. And during lockdown, I'm a big fan of just using what you have if you can. So if you're dehydrating and you think you don't have the right containers, maybe search around and you might be surprised and find something that you can use. Before, can't take this anymore Cause I've been looking for something